Here we are battling through injuries one after one, and guys are coming up from AAA and making big time contributions. Guys who probably shouldn't be playing in the majors at this point, but contributing to a first place Milwaukee Brewer team. They've won three in a row in Cincinnati. And how about that effort from Adrian Hauser? Got the job done. We'll talk about that. And can the Brewers keep it going? All that next year on Lockdown Brewers. You are Locked On Brewers, your daily Milwaukee Brewers podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. You didn't count on John Singleton, Andrew Monasterio, and Blake Perkins to be four, five, and six in your batting order when the season started, or even a couple of weeks ago. But here we are, important series against the Reds. That's who the Brewers have uh, had in the heart of their order today. And you know what? Another win in Cincinnati. On Saturday, it was Blake Perkins who came up with the Grand Slam, five RBIs, and holding on to a win against the Reds, 10 to 8. On Sunday, Monasterio comes up, hits the three-run home run in the first inning, and the Brewers ride Adrian Hauser the rest of the way and get a 5-1 win in Cincinnati. Getting contributions from guys we didn't expect to. It's been the story for this team. Yeah, it hasn't always been pretty or fun or great, to say the least, and it could have gone, it could have been a complete disaster in Cincinnati, okay, with some of the lineups they're throwing out there, but somehow... They are getting the job done. Good to have you along. I'm Chuck Freeman, first year host of Lockdown Brewers. Been covering the Brewers for many years, over 40 years for AP Radio. I'm the morning sports anchor at 1310 WIBA in Madison, longtime sports talk show host in the state of Wisconsin. I appreciate you for joining us and being on the Lockdown Podcast Network. Uh, we are your team every day. We're here every day on Lockdown Brewers. Hit us up on Twitter, Chuck Freeman, F R E I M U N D. Download our podcast. Set your alerts, Google, Spotify, Apple. We're on all those. Uh, please set your notifications there. I list them all, all the places, all the platforms we're on. And uh, you can find those all on my Twitter account. Again, on Chuck Freeman, F-R-E-I-M-U-N-D. And also YouTube, the video version of this. 30 minutes during the week. Weekend's a little shorter, but this is a 30-minute one because it's uh, technically a Monday show. Hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell there, and we'll alert you every time we drop an episode here on Lockdown Brewers, part of the Lockdown Podcast Network. We are your team every day. Brewers and Reds coming up on Monday night uh, at 610 with game four of the series. Catch every pitch of the Brewers hometown broadcast, Sirius XM, the XX, SXM app, Search Brewers. All right. Battling through the injuries. Yes, sir. And... A lot of times I'll look at a game and I'll look at the betting line, to be honest with you, because there's smart bettors. The smart bettors, the line will move one way or the other where the smart action is. And most of the time, those smart bettors are right. Today, the Brewers went from a, like a 110 favorite to a minus 120 underdog by first pitch, meaning the smart money, everybody was on the Reds. All the smart money, the smart money movers from Vegas, the guys who, the big heavy hitters, put their money on the Reds. And in that case, that's a pretty good indicator that they think, well, the Reds are a play. And most of the time they're right on those heavy hitters are right. You know, the, the, those professionals out there. And if you looked at the Brewer lineup today and you saw who was in the lineup and where they stood and the injuries and Adrian Hauser coming off a bad performance, you know, one of their lower of the rotation guys, you would think, okay, yeah, the Brewers won the first two. Reds are probably going to take on Sunday, but it wasn't the case. Andrew Monasterio, wow, three-run home run to center field that just kept on carrying. I think it fooled everybody in the ballpark, even Jeff Levering on the broadcast, because he, that ball must have caught a wind up there or something because it just kept on carrying. Sometimes balls will do that. It'll just carry and carry and carry. You think it's routine, but it just kept on going, and we'll take it. Hits the home run, gets the Brewers out to a 3 0 lead. Adrian Hauser pitches seven strong innings, gives it the home run in the seventh. But Hauser was just awful in his last outing, just bad. But he came back and gave them the effort they needed because the bullpen was taxed the last couple of days, especially on Saturday. Especially on Saturday. But 
that was so needed for Hauser to do that. And that's what it's going to take to hold things together until these guys get healthy and get some of these guys off the injury list, the long-term guys and the short-term guys, it's going to have to happen. It, Craig Council has always said it's going to take all 40, mans, all, all 40 men on this roster, on the 40 men. And that's what it's, he, he repeated that many times in 2018, and that's what it took. And you're, you're going to need guys like Monasterio, who's come up and been really, really good. He's been real, real good wherever they put him. And he's played second base today again because Terang is playing shortstop and Willie Adamas is uh, and some good news from Adamas we'll tell you about later on is on the concussion list. But yeah, Monasterio, how can you send him down now? The way he's hitting. We'll talk about that coming up here in a little bit. But Hauser gave him the effort and they stayed away from Williams today who saved the last two games. Strezlecki finished up at the ninth inning. Pagero got the eighth inning. And yeah, you saved your bullpen with a big, big effort. Six innings, Hauser threw six innings. He had 78 pitches on my count here. And uh, wow. Now the now the downside of this, Monasterio, back to him, had to leave the game. Could not take his at-bat middle part of this game after a play at second base. Uh, a laceration, he's going to be okay. Looked like it was to the face. Um, took him off for precautionary reasons, uh, and should be okay. Okay. That's the, that's really good news because, uh, I've liked what I've seen so far out of him. He's come up and give them some big, big at bats. So you look at it, Monasterio Sunday, Blake Perkins, another guy you weren't counting on, uh, hit the grand slam, drove in five on Saturday, two big bat at bats. In this series against the Reds, when the Brewers could have easily have dropped with this lineup, could have easily dropped three or four or, or even swept because the Reds had high indicate high hopes that they were going to sweep the Brewers in this series. They had been playing well. They just took a series against the Red Sox. The Brewers had dropped another road series, but it is not the case. The Brewers now can go for now themselves can go for the series sweep uh, against the Reds coming up on Monday night. We'll tell you more about that. And the starting pitchers, as the Reds are throwing out a guy making his major league debut, we'll tell you about that a little bit. Locked on Brewers, brought to you by BetterHelp. Getting to know yourself can be a lifelong process, especially because we're always growing and changing. Therapy is all about deepening your self-awareness and understanding because sometimes we don't know what we want or we react the way we do until we talk through things. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who can take you on that journey of self-discovery from wherever you are. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched up with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime you like. No additional charge there. So discover your potential with BetterHelp. Go to BetterHelp.com slash LockedOnMLB, and you're going to get 10 bucks off your first month. That's BetterHelp.com. Dot com slash locked on MLB 10 bucks off your first month. That's better help better H E L P dot com slash locked on better help.com again 10% off your first month. Thank you everybody joining us on the lockdown brewers pod on the lockdown network lockdown brewers on the lockdown podcast network. We are your team every day. You everydayers out there who um, follow us along. Uh, we dropped the episode we're a little lighter on weekends, you know, 15 minutes or 17 minutes we go, but we're a half hour during the week. We are with you every day after every game. Yes, we are. Um, because the Brewers are playing every day. We're going to be here every day for you as well. Thank you very much. Whatever platform you downloaded us on, if you're on YouTube again, please subscribe to us on YouTube. We would have greatly appreciate it. And, uh, you know, love talking Brewer baseball with you guys every day. The Brewers, do take on the Reds in the series finale coming up on Monday night, 610 with that broadcast on Sirius XM, the SXM app, Search Brewers. All right. Uh, we're talking about how there's guys short-term and long-term who are doing well on the injured list uh, in the recovery. Willie Adamas, looks like Thursday he's going to be back. He's going to be back. Um, hit a home run on Sunday in Appleton, also doubled, had a couple of bats, as the DH in Appleton uh, for the Wisconsin Timber Rattlers. Now he'll get a couple of swings in down at Nashville, play a couple of games there. 
So all indications are he's going to be playing back with the team Thursday when they take on the Orioles in an afternoon game. Uh, Urias should be off the injured list on Tuesday. That's more good news. Now, with some of these guys coming off the injured list, somebody's going to have to leave. It can't be Monasterio. You can't, you can't send him down the way he's hitting. It might have to be Bryce Terang. Terang is below the Mendoza line these days. He's below 200. And I know he's given him great defense, okay? But, you know, it's a results-oriented business. I would be good with sending Terang down, getting some at-bats down there, and working through things because he is struggling, okay? He is. Let's keep – Monasterio has done enough to stay on this roster. Do I, do I want to see Andrew in the game every day? No, but as a guy who's going to come in, be a utility guy from now, off the bench, let's go with it. Let's go with the hot bat. Better not be sending Monasterio down. He's been one of their best hitters. So, yeah, he's been hitting so well. You got to keep him on this roster. Uh, Jake Cousins was sent down to AAA. Uh, Bennett Sousa was called up. Jake Cousins was not very good, and that's putting it nicely in his relief outing when given a chance by Craig Council to pitch in mop-up duty in a four-run game. Not a closing situation, but still four-run lead. They had to get him out of there after three batters because he was just bad. Now, this is the fourth time that Cousins has been optioned. He's running out of options, and might be a situation where it's going to have to clear waivers uh, if they send him down again, if they bring him up. So we'll see. Uh, Jay Cousins is 28 years old at this point, and I do not know what his future is, but he didn't help himself on Saturday. Lauer making rehab starts, Miley close to coming back. So is Matt Bush. Great, great news. The Brewers are able to just piece this thing together. I mean, you look at the lineup. Yelich batting leadoff. Owen Miller batting second. Rowdy Telez batting third. Rowdy's not a third place hitter. I know he started the year batting third, but he's not your, no, he's, he's not a third place hitter. That'd be like on the 82 Brewers, Gorman Thomas batting third. Okay. And I'm not saying he's Gorman Thomas, but you know what I'm saying? A guy who's not a guy who's a real contact hitter, although Rowdy had a base hit. He had a couple of them today. Uh, John Singleton batting DH, uh, uh, playing DH, uh, batting fourth couple of strikeouts. You don't expect John Singleton to be batting cleanup right now on a first place team. Monasterio batting fifth. No way did you ever expect that. Uh, batting six was Blake Perkins. Heck no. You didn't expect him to be a heart of the order guy. Um, but he's coming in and contributed with that home run. He's still batting 150, but again, contributing in the big moment the other day. Uh, Bryce Terang is down to 198. He took it over. Uh, batting eighth was Victor Caratini and Joey Weimer batting ninth. Weimer's sitting on ball hard. He's 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 smoking the ball. Had a solid base hit, lined out another. He's making hard contact. Ball's not finding any eyes, though. But uh, the Brewers need to keep on Monasterio on this team for now. And when guys need to be sent down, I think the first you got to really think about sending Bryce Terang down. I don't think that's earth shattering news to anybody. We like Bryce. Okay. Early in the season, he had it going on. But, man, he's dipping, 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 now below 200, and Monasterio's got to stay on this team. Uh, hold hold things together until the trading deadline. You know, I'm not saying the Brewers should go nuts at the trading deadline, but you're going to get – you know, the news continues to be encouraging with Brandon Woodruff. You're going to get him back. I don't think you go out and get yourself a starting pitcher at the trading deadline. But Woodruff coming off the injured list is like, you know, the old saying goes, it's like getting making a trade because he didn't have them. You haven't had them since early in the season. So they need right now, I think, another arm in the bullpen. And we'll see how things go with the rest of the lineup for now. Yeah, there's there's guys in that lineup who aren't pulling their weight. And yeah, I don't know how they're in first place. Yeah, I do know they're in a bad division. Okay. But that's not their fault. Okay, the Brewers have been in great divisions before in their history and have won 90 games and have not made the postseason. So a little karma coming their direction this season. But yeah, some definitely decisions have to be made by Matt Arnold, Craig Council, and the company this week when Adamas comes off on Thursday, supposedly, and Urias eligible to come off on Tuesday. And uh, yeah. And another good note, the Cardinals got swept. The Cardinals got swept in a three-game series in Pittsburgh. How about that? They couldn't win one game. Lost. They were like the early game today. On I think was it Apple? I think the game was on. Uh two to one game. They lost to Pittsburgh. So 
The Brewers are picking up Brown once again on Pittsburgh. And you know what I always say? Or I'm sorry, on St. Louis. What I always say, it matters uh, about the about how, how the Brewers, uh, how many games out ahead of St. Louis they are. And right now they're seven. And I'm trying to do two things at once here. The Cardinals are seven and a half games behind the Brewers. Seven and a half games out. Yes, they got down within four and a half. And remember, Ken Rosenthal said, well, the Cardinals will be winning this division by 15 games. Well, they got to make up seven and a half games just to be in first place. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, it looked like the Cardinals were catching the Brewers and things were sliding away. But since then, the Cardinals have dropped seven of their last 10. They're 10 games under the 500 mark. Yeah, Pittsburgh, Cincinnati, and the Cubs. and The, the Reds were getting some excitement there. Yeah, they, they had that solid series against uh, Boston, but they lost the final game of that series and have dropped three in a row. Pittsburgh has won five in a row, but don't worry about the Pirates. With all due respect to the boys on Lockdown Pittsburgh, or on Lockdown Pirates, I am not worried about them. But in this division, who knows? But I would still say Milwaukee and St. Louis and the Reds, maybe they were just on a little bit of a run, and they're just not ready for prime time just yet. I will right, we'll tell you about the pitchers coming up. What's coming up Monday? Because I think the Brewers can get another one. I think they can get another win. They've been so solid. Uh, getting contributions from other guys, taking advantage. The Reds, the pitchers, the Reds have thrown out here the last three days have not been good. I mean, this guy, the Reds threw out there today. Um, he was terrible. Uh, he had, let's see, oh, Lively, Ben Lively. I mean, his numbers, seven innings, six hits, five runs. The Brewers, 104 pitchers, the Brewers should have tagged him a little bit more than they should have. He, I, I, didn't, I was not all that impressed with him. Have not been. I saw him pitch last week, and he pitched okay, but not all that impressed with him. Um, but on Monday night, the Brewers will be seeing a guy who's making his major league debut. We'll tell you about that coming up here in a little bit. First, I want to tell you about eBay Motors. eBay Motors. For our championship team, it's all about making sure every player is a perfect fit. It's the same when it comes to your vehicles. Every part needs to be fitting just right. So the next time you need parts and accessories, head to eBay Motors. With eBay Guaranteed Fit, you can make sure every part you need fits just right the first time around. Just add your ride to my garage. Look for the green check to know the part will fit or your money back because just like in sports, confidence is the name of the game. And when you shop eBay Motors with over 122 parts to choose from, you'll be back in the game in no time. After all, it's easy to bring home a win when the right parts are guaranteed. Get the right parts, the right pit, the right prices on ebaymotors.com. Let's ride eBay, guaranteed fit, only available to U.S. customers, eligible items only, exclusions do apply. That is eBay Motors. Brewers and Reds, 610 coming up on Monday night. Catch every pitch of the Brewers, hometown broadcast, Sirius XM, the, XM, the SXM app, Search Brewers. And thank you for all you everydayers out there following us on the Locked On Podcast Network, making us your first listen to every day. Hit your notifications button to download us, Google, Spotify, Apple, wherever you get your podcasts. We drop it overnight uh, on the audio version so you can have it in the morning and you can, on your way to work or whatever you got going on, your workout or whatever, listen to us talk Brewer baseball every day on Lockdown Brewers on the Lockdown Podcast Network. Of course, also invite you to join us on YouTube. We got a growing YouTube audience. It's grown by over 400 in the last month. Incredible. Every day we're adding to the YouTube channel, and I love it. I check it, and I see, man, a few subscribers every other hour or so. I love it. Thank you. Hit us. Subscribe on YouTube. Hit that little bell there. I'm going to tell you every time we drop an episode here on Lockdown Brewers. Julio Te uh, Tehran is going to make the start for the Brewers on Monday. I'm really curious to see this because he's pitched really, really good in his last two outs, uh, outings. Uh, five innings in his first outing, six innings in his second outing. Uh, and here it is, his third time around. Okay, maybe a little tape out there on him again if he's been doing anything differently. And Craig Council says... This is a veteran pitcher going out there and just executing his stuff. 
32 years old, a guy who knows how to pitch. Yeah, a guy knows how to pitch. He looked great. Can you imagine if Tehran returned to his old self, like the two-time all-star he was with the Braves, add him to this rotation on a permanent basis? I was just hoping to get a few starts for him, but the way he's been pitching, and we'll see, it's temper our enthusiasm so far on Tehran, but he has looked like the old Julio Tehran. Guy asked me from Atlanta the other day about Tehran, and I said, yeah, he's been as good as he was during those 2015-16 teams in Atlanta. Been really, really good. So, come on. Let's get another solid start. Sweep this Reds team and then head to a home game with Baltimore coming up on Tuesday. Um, the pitcher for the Reds, Andrew Abbott, a left. Now, the bad news is he's a lefty, although the Brewers hit Williamson the left-hander the other day. Making his major league debut, a guy who's 95th in the top 100 on the MLB pipeline as far as prospects are concerned. Second-round pick, 2021. Big strikeout pitcher down to the minors, double-A, triple-A. Huge strikeout numbers. So that's something could cause a problem. You know, guys who get called up from the minors and making their major league debuts. These are the kind of guys who give the Brewers problems over the years. It's not the seasoned veterans. Well, those two, but it's the, it's the Andrew Abbott's of the world, but highly touted second round pick. The Reds are excited about him. And again, a big strikeout pitcher, Andrew Abbott pitches. Uh, and then the Brewers come home. The Brewers come home for uh, right after the game, they'll be leaving. They got a three game series with the Orioles. And these are not, this is not a bad Orioles team. This is a good team. Now, this is this is a, this isn't the bad Orioles team from years gone by. We saw a little bit last year, the Orioles showing the ability to uh, turn things around after years of futility. Guy from Lockdown Orioles podcast texted me and wants to be on his podcast. I'm going to go on there probably tomorrow night. But um, yeah, the Orioles suddenly turning things around, and then the Brewers got the worst team in baseball, the Oakland A's, next weekend. Can't take them lightly. Got to plow through them like they did the Rangers a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the Rangers, the Royals a couple of weeks ago when they were in town, big weekend series. The weather should be good. And it's summertime. Kids are off of school. It's time to enjoy baseball out at AmFan Field. And I will be out there next weekend. All right. Let's see if there's any tweets we got to take care of here. Um, there usually is. Oh, uh, let's see. Um Ironically, Monasterio, we got to keep this guy on the team, providing some enthusiasm. Hopefully, as Steve says, hopefully his injury isn't a big one and he could bounce back. Yeah, it's uh, and, and, and be in this lineup coming up for, for, yeah, we don't know if, I don't know if he's going to be in lineup Tuesday, but certainly hopefully on Monday night, Urias is supposed to come back Tuesday and we'll see how, how they bring him along as well. But yeah, you're with me, Steve, Monasterio. Got to keep it going. Uh, I'll take a quick look at the box score. Look at the box score. Uh, I, I briefly went on over it before, but let's see. Yelich went over three, batting 254. Miller went one for three. Miller had a great Brooks Robinson play at third base, barehanded pickup. You know, Brian Anderson has made a couple of those plays this year. And Owen Miller had one of those on a bang bang play at first base. Rowdy Telez, two for four. Uh, John Singleton went 0 for 3 with a couple of Ks. Monasterio, the home run, and is only at bat, 3 RBIs, setting the tone for the win. Blake Perkins went 0 for 4 with 2 Ks. Bryce Terang, 0 for 4. We talked about him. Victor Caratini, 2 for 4, and a long home run. Snapped that bat back and let it fly. Joey Weimer, 1 for 4, and we talked about how uh, he has been, um, his approaches to the plate. All right, that's going to do it. I've had an itchy nose. I don't know why. My, I didn't shave today, but man, maybe that's the reason why. It's a Sunday. It's a Sunday fun day. Always great when the Brewers have an early game. Love those early starts. And especially when they come up with a win like they did. I'm telling you, I didn't think the Brewer, I was hoping for at least a split because that's where I was with the Brewers going into it because they have lost so many series. And the Reds are playing well. I said, just don't get swept. Don't drop three or four. If you could at least win two games, come back home and right a few wrongs at home. But 
They've taken the series. Now let's go on and win the series and sweep this four-game series against the Reds. Man, how huge would that be? Again, all the platforms, download us, uh, subscribe to us uh, on, on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell. Please subscribe to us. Love to have you continue to follow us because it is going to be a great summer, everybody. Summer is here in Wisconsin. We know how great it is. And with the Milwaukee Brewers in first place, three-game winning streak, keep this thing going. Guys are coming off the injured list. Woodruff is going to be back in a matter of time, hopefully within a month. Adamas coming back this week. Urias is going to provide something to this offense. The young guys hopefully can step it back up, get Weimer going a little bit as well, and uh, keep riding in first place in the NL Central. Things are good right now. Let's keep it going. I'm Chuck Freeman. Thanks for joining us today on Lockdown Brewers on the Lockdown Podcast Network. We are your team every day. So long, everybody.